Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Kerry, and welcome to another podcast from the South Essex GP training website. With me, I have Dr. Sunil Gupta, and we're going to cover some of the statistical knowledge which is required for the membership exam for the Royal College of GPs. Sunil, let's start with p value. Can you define the p value and what is accepted as statistical significance? The p value is the probability of a result occurring by chance. A p-value of less than 0.05 is usually taken to indicate statistical significance as there is less than a 5% chance of the result occurring by chance. And what is the 95% confidence interval? The 95% confidence interval is the range of values which have a 95% chance of including the true value. If the 95% confidence interval includes a value of no difference between the two groups, then the treatment under investigation is not statistically significant from the control. Sensitivity and specificity. What is the sensitivity of a test? Right. I want you to imagine a 2 by 2 table. On the top left of the table is um, a, which is true positive, that's where the test says the result is um, the test result is positive and the disease is present. The top right of the table is B, which is a false positive. So the test is positive, but the disease is not present. The bottom left of the table is C, which is a false negative, which means the test says the disease isn't present, but the disease is present. And bottom right of the table is D, which is a true negative, where the disease isn't present and the test says the disease is not present. So the sensitivity is the proportion of people with the disease who have a positive test result. So that is equal to the true positives divided by the true positives plus the false negatives. That's, so the sensitivity is A divided by A plus C. And the specificity, therefore? The specificity is the proportion of people without the disease who have a negative test result. So that's the true negatives divided by the false positives plus the true negatives. So that's D divided by B plus D. What is the positive predictive value of a test? The positive predictive value is the proportion of people with a positive test who really do have the disease. So that's the true positive divided by the true positive plus the false positive. So that's equal to A divided by A plus B. And the negative predictive value of a test? The negative predictive value is the proportion of people with a negative test who do not have the disease. So that's equal to the true negative divided by false negative plus true negative, which is equal to D divided by C plus D. Thank you. Could you say a few words about the number needed to treat concept? The number needed to treat is the number of patients who need to be treated in order to achieve one desired outcome or event. It is defined as the inverse of the absolute risk reduction, so it's equal to 1 over the absolute risk reduction. The ideal number needed to treat is 1, where everyone improves with treatment and no one improves with control. And the higher the number needed to treat, the less effective is the treatment. Thank you. Finally, I'd like you to explain the difference for me, if you can, between absolute risk and relative risk. Absolute risk reduction is the difference between the event rate in treated individuals compared to controls. So let's take an example. So if a drug reduces heart attacks from 4% in the control group to 3% in the treated group, that is the absolute risk reduction of 1% during the time period. So the number needed to treat for one person to benefit would be 100. Relative risk is the risk of the probability of an event in one group compared to another. So taking the same example, so if a drug reduces heart attacks from 4% in the control group to 3% in the treated group, then the relative risk in the treated group is 3 quarters of the control group. So adverts for the drug may say that it reduces heart attacks by 25% without mentioning that 100 people would have to be treated for one person to benefit in the particular example we stated. 
Thank you. Sunil and I would like to thank you for listening and we hope you'll listen to some of the other podcasts from the South Essex GP training website. (music) 